and welcome to It's Pouring Paint. Today I am going to do something I haven't done before. I have done a pour on a rock. I have done pours on rocks. But today I'm doing a Dutch pour on two different rocks with two separate sets of colors. And we are going to see how this is going to work out. It is a very small, um, small rock, so I'm a little concerned about that. However, I've seen Dutch pours done on small uh, canvases, so why not a rock? Uh, my hubby is starting to make cement pieces, and um, so I got him a mold of these rocks, and I decided let's try it out. So the very first thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to flood it with the white. Just the same as you would a, uh, a canvas, because you need it to flow properly. And to be quite honest, I am not sure how this is going to turn out. <laughs> but I like to do things fail or not fail. I get an idea and I must try it. So here we go. Just going to pour some of this on here. Please forgive my hands. This seems a bit thick. Um, I thought I had thinned it out fairly well. So the first one we're going to do, um, first rock, actually all of the rocks and the paints are going to be mixed with this um, Liquitex glazing medium. Uh, see how that, um, that medium works. So I'm, I guess I'm just trying to get some of it so when the paint does pour off, and I'm excited to see this actually, um, it gives it a bit of flow. All right. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting. So I'm going to do a, do a dollop of white. I hope I made enough white too. Now, as, as you can see, it's a, it's a small, <laughs> paint's already on. It's a small canvas, so um, I don't have to do too, too much. Now I'm going to put in this, um, it's a full cover, color shift uh, turquoise. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in. And you, I am not going to need much either because it is so small. This one is a Extreme Sheen Deco Art um, Barnet. This one is also an Extreme Sheen Deco Art Sapphire. These are such pretty colors. And then I also have a Smart or Craft Smart, sorry, metallic ultra bright. Um, oh, what is this called? Rose gold. Okay, I'm gonna put another little bit of white just in the top here, and put it all around. I am concerned. I am concerned that this paint is too thick. Alright, here we go, ah, wait, 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 rule number one, remove all objects that can be blown away from the area that you are blowing on, and I know this from past experience because, <laughs> yeah, as you guessed it, I have done it, I have blown paint everywhere, alright, I did dip my uh, my paint into the blow dryer. I don't know where that messed it up, but I think it's over here. <laughs> if it's not one thing, it's another with me. Now, this is the things that I've learned with this. Even though I love this, I do love it. Um, the paint is too thick. So, 
with my next pour, this white needs to be thinned down quite a bit. Because as you can see, it, I don't know if you did see or not, but it did really... Okay, so I did that, and I should have been a little bit more careful. But this time, it won't be too, uh, <laughs> too thick, that's for sure. So I don't know. What do you think about that? I, uh, I hate that white spot in the middle. I really, really, really do. So I'm just going to put a little dollop. Oh, what am I doing? See? See? Just a little itty bitty dollop. Boop. And I'm going to once again try and blow that out. Don't. I know you're all like, don't do it! the texture I'm gonna tell you oh I'm screwing it up so I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop so I'm not sure that made it better let's be honest I'm not sure at all however um, it's what's done is done I am now going to move over to my second one yes I know you get two of them for the price of one Going ahead and adding my <laughs> much thinner. I think this one will probably turn out better just because of this. Yeah. That's okay. You live and you learn, right? Don't worry. I'll have my hubby make more and more and more of these until I get it down pat. Um, not that really matters because <laughs> I don't know how many of these rocks I can do up before people start saying I don't want any more rocks usually my um, my gallery <laughs> of my homemade things because I don't sell any of these pieces at all I just make them because I enjoy it so much oh you know what I forgot to do on that other one I'm going to do it quickly right now uh, you got to flame them by the way, to get off all of the little bubbles. And I'm just going to, I'm sorry, I'm quickly doing that on the other one. I will show you um, what I mean. All right. So that one takes care. Okay. Anywho, let's get at her. So let's take a look. So my, my purple was... Or sorry, my shift was, I'm going to try and do this so, all right, I have a good number. Uh, that is an Extreme Sheen Deco Art, and it's called Rose Quartz. I just love these colors. This one is Extreme Sheen Deco Art Aquamarine. That one looks thick. I'm a little scared. Yeah, it's been a while since I've painted. This one here is a, um, whoop. Wasn't even paying attention. It's a nickel, uh, a Craft Smart um, Ultra Bright Nickel. And here we go with this guy right here. Again, she's looking thick. I don't know, people. I don't know. I guess this is why um, art is considered art because you just do what you can, and whatever comes out, comes out. Oh, all right. Here we go for the second. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. All right, here we go. Oh, Jeepers Creepers. Once again, I am leaving stuff on the table to be blown apart. I am silly when it comes to this. Thankfully, I have learned very quickly. Don't do that, Cynthia please all right you know what I'm gonna give this one a little can't see if we can't get some of this shit stuff out sorry my apologies I don't know why I swore there my second 
second, Dutch pour, the double Dutch. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I mean by, I don't know if you can see this, but there are all kinds of bubbles that get into the paint. Mainly because I just mixed my paint uh, before I did this. Um, sometimes uh, people like to wait, you know, 24 hours to get all the bubbles out before they go ahead and um, actually put paint onto canvas or what have you. Um, but I mixed and ran with it. So, that is the two of them. You know what I didn't do with this one? I didn't put the white in the middle. I think I'm happy about that. I think I didn't like the white. Yeah, I can see a bubble there, a little booger bubble. Let's see if we can't, <laughs> gotcha. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you in for a close up. I'm gonna say this is, this is my favorite, it is. There are things that I have learned from both of these though. Um, a, thin the paint out. B, I probably could have used a little bit more paint. C, make sure my entire uh, outside of my rock is nicely painted because there are errors, if you'd like. Um, there are errors uh, on the sides that don't have any paint on them. So here I come. Here we go. Let's see if we put a flash on here that makes it any better. Oh, see that little shine? I'm sorry. There we go. My my head is actually, and here's the other one. It's a bit of a mess. I get it. I'm with you on that. Um, colors are still pretty good. I would probably redo it, do it again. Uh, just a different style because I do like the colors. Well, there you have it. The two double dutch pours on rocks. I hope you enjoyed your time with me and be good to yourselves, be good to others, and we will see you later. Bye.